Hello, hello my friends, Uncle Misha is here and welcome to, to Inside Out Electronic channel and today we are going to finish our project where we try to create new controller for Bescore MP101 a pan and tilt head. So this time uh, we're gonna actually finish it completely, not being like this on the breadboard. So this is our part one and today we're gonna have it um, more of a presentable, uh, put it in more presentable shape. So for in order to have it a little bit more presentable, I decided to MacGyver something and this is the little case I come up with. This microcontroller is gonna be stuffed like this in here gonna be the gonna you gonna would be able to close the lid on it and on this side you're gonna have well we don't would need that we're gonna use those uh barrel dim connectors which are gonna be connected to over here and that's it we're not gonna have any dangling wires so this wire is gonna be sh uh, hi hidden inside of this contraption so um so let's do it uh, for that let's put this aside so with that first i'll have to solder all those pretty wires because tuning the wires is probably a super boring process i try to spare it uh, spare this you from actually watching me tuning a whole bunch of wires so i, I pre, uh, pre tint everything and quickly gonna solder it all together right here so we're gonna let's do it quickly and let's do it together so for that i prepared my third hand right here when i'm gonna jam this little guy and also i have this reference sheet which you probably saw in my um, part one video and i'm not gonna keep it in in um, in the frame but i'm gonna be doing something like this first of all those two are gonna be indicating the power positive and negative uh, uh, wires so i'm gonna solder them first and then there are four data cables which i'm gonna solder and then i'm gonna mark them um, uh, with little little lines like I've done uh, before just to make sure I'm not lost which one goes where. So let's start to quickly solder them. So now let's try to um, quickly mark them how they um, with little lines as I've done before just to not get myself lost. Okay, so uh, this is our center. So uh, one, one line gonna be number two. This guy gonna have one. Number three is two lines. Okay, number four is three lines. This is number four. One, two, three. And um, number five is four lines, which is probably not necessary. All right. So now when we have all this marked, we have to solder it to the um, our microcontroller. So as I mentioned, this thing goes through here easily, so we don't have to like solder it already threaded through. So uh, we can solder it like just like this. We can hold our microcontroller. We can hold our, our, our microcontroller just like this. Okay, take our soldering iron. And try to first with ground and uh, five volt. And well, in this case, the power, the battery power, whatever it's gonna be. So battery power goes to battery, obviously. Okay, I need probably a little bit more helpful hand here.
Okay. So we have it all soldered. And now, but before you do that, make sure you are programmed your microcontroller because what may happen that if you place it right here, you won't be able to access the USB port. Okay, so make sure you are programming your microcontroller right here. Mine is pre-programmed, so we can just put it all uh, together, but make sure you program it first. Well, or you can program it at this, this sort of stage, but when you connected it to the best core, please do not program it when it is under power from best core. It can cause some confusion. Okay, so as I mentioned, Let's continue. So, as I mentioned, please program it first because it will be hard to reach this um, little USB port later. Okay, make sure it flash. So, yeah, let's put it in. So, now, idea is this little lid, uh, whatever side you prefer, this way or that way, is should go over this LED. As you see, the LED is right there, little, little neo pixel, and we, I have little button, uh, mushroom button kind of screws here, which gonna go right like this. And this one is just gonna be self threaded, M3. Right, like this. This guy goes just like that self-threaded into PLA plastic it's it's very nice all right so this is our contraption all right okay so now well it looks like I cho chose a little bit too long of wires in retrospect so that's now I have to like coil it inside but other on the other hand it's uh, it's good because I mean I, I can easily work with them but in retrospect it's probably a little bit too long so let's just uh, assemble this I don't think we need strain relief here, so not necessarily to actually clamp it. Okay, let's just... Uh, Alright, so I don't think we have to clamp it. I'm not gonna clamp it. Alright. Maybe I will... So, please make your uh, length of the wires appropriate, because looks like I made it way too long. Now I have to, like, dealing with this. Hope it's not gonna cause any real stress right there and... Um, break some wires but I'm gonna just shove it in Ta -da! okay so here we are um, despite our little failure with uh, length of the wires we actually have a little contraption so now next step is to take this device Plug it in just like that, and power it up, a little bit crooked, so now we have our LED blinking, which is, I just realized I made actually a hole in, uh, under, under the wrong LED, so this is Bluetooth LED, our LED. <laughs> <laughs> is right over here but clearly I will that's easy to redesign so I re redesign the uh, will share the part with the correct hole <laughs> but that's no big deal okay so for the test the first test of complete contraption we need the cell phone and I do have modified a oops the wrong thing application Again, the wrong thing. So we have our modified best core um, uh, app. So this specifically works with this contraption. And as you see, color there changed to blue. You still see it's still like it's it's um, it's wrong LED, but you still can see how it shines through. So now let's test. Hello, application. Also, let's see when it's moving, it shines green.
and when it's not moving it's blue when it disconnected it's red and blinking yeah i think it's pretty cool so guys here we are this is the complete new uh, Bescore MP101 controller, which looks way more tidier than my original microcontroller uh, from several years back. The software for this guy, Arduino software and Android and Android software, is available on the GitHub already. Uh, please uh, take a look at down li the links down in, in the comment section or the description section of the video. I'll try to publish APK and also put the application on the, on the Google Play Store. I'm not sure about that one uh, um, because this application is modified application from Nordic Semiconductor. I I don't care about any licensing, though I'm just not sure how that's gonna fly. I hope they're not gonna be against it to publish their application on Google Play Store. But in any case, it, it will be available for those who like to sideload them uh, on uh, GitHub. So guys, if you like such projects, please uh, subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be posting uh, obviously some more. I'm going to just, you know, I'm not going to sit that still and do nothing. And if you would like to support me, please uh, subscribe, like. If you have any ideas, ideas and suggestions, please uh, comment down below or on the website where some details, information going to be available as well. Uh, links down below. So guys, thank you for being with me uh, during this project. Thank you for helping me and see you next time on Instant Electronic Channel. Ciao!